Hey, what's up guys? John Asumi from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again with another video. I'm shooting some more volleyball today. I've actually already shot the freshman and the JV matches, so I'm kind of hanging out, taking a short break, head back into the gym and gonna catch the varsity in a little bit. So today's assignment is I'm trying to capture photographs of each player on one of the teams. I'm capturing the entire game, but one team in particular, I'm gonna to try to capture action shots of each player. I'm gonna be really careful to make sure that I get each player serving. And then just be strategic about where I'm covering on the court and make sure I just cover all three court positions at different parts during the game so I can be sure to get action shots of each player. And then I'd like to get a shot of them bumping the ball, making a pass. And then if I can get a shot of them setting the ball. That's not always possible because each position has different responsibilities on the court, but those are the shots I'm looking for. And so by moving around to different parts of the court, I give myself a better chance of getting those shots. So again, just going over the shooting strategy that I employ is I will shoot from the baseline and from the baseline, I'm looking to get the hitters in the front row. So I'm trying to get the middle blocker, outside hitter, and then the other side hitter. And it's not always easy because you're waiting for openings between defensive players, but those are the shots I'm trying to get from the baseline. And at the same time, I'm trying to get the team on that side of the court of me is I'm trying to get uh, some of the backcourt players. Some of the players as they're running towards me getting bumps. And then if I can catch them from the side when they're spiking the ball over the net. So those are the shots I'm looking for. All right, well, you know, that was an exciting match. There was a lot of action going on. I'm pretty sure I got some good shots, but like I said, you never know until you get back to the editing table and take a really close look and make sure everything's in focus. Uh, the good thing is you don't have to wait for my editing to finish. I'm going to show you these pictures right here, right now. Thanks for watching this video. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.